What is the crack, lads? We are back. We're back with episode two of PES 2013's Master League. No, you have not gone back in time. We are playing a PES 2013 Master League. Yes, as I said, desperate times call for desperate measures. And we are back on our PS3 game, PES 2013. Playing it with a PS5 pad. Check out episode one if you guys want to be caught up with the series. We are playing as Manchester United. Bubba Butty has taken over the reins. The Fergie era is over. The Butty era is about to begin. Firstly, right, we are going to take a look at the team. And a few people were asking me about the, the squads and stuff, right? So, um, yes, a couple of these squads are outdated, so to speak, in terms of some of the players that are still with the clubs weren't actually with them for the season that we're currently playing. So what I've decided to do... Um, it, this has been a choice for me. Obviously, the option file is up to date and stuff that Paul had done and the one that we're using. Um, you know, so for example, in the option file, RVP is at United, which would have meant that I would have started my Master League with Robin Van Persie on this squad that I would have had. And Arsenal would have not had Van Persie because they obviously had Podolski and Giroud and uh, a couple of other guys that they signed. Um, similarly, we have Spurs, obviously, who... As people were saying in the comments, Modric wasn't with Spurs for the start of this season. Van der Vaart wasn't with Spurs at the start of this season. So what I've kind of done is I've made the decision to kind of have like an alternative history as if Modric had never left in this transfer window for Spurs. For Spurs. Like where would Spurs um, feature in the next two or three seasons if they'd kept that core of Modric, Bale, uh, Defoe, Kyle Walker, you know what I mean? If they'd kept those guy, kind of guys while bringing through other players. Similarly with Arsenal, if they had kept Robin Van Persie, could they challenge for the title this season with all the new players that they had bought? So it's kind of a mix match of um, squads and stuff. And then obviously with Real Madrid and Barcelona and Milan, they all have kind of the squads as if some of the biggest transfers that they lost or some of the biggest exits from this season didn't actually go either in the summer or in January. So yeah, look, it's a little bit something different. I wanted to create kind of an alternative history um, of where the teams could actually end up along the line. You know what I mean? Down the line a couple of bits. Moving on from that, we are going to be taking a look at our squad. And as you can see here, guys, we do have a negotiation. We do have one in progress and it is Ronaldinho. Absolute beaming with that so he wants to come for two years obviously that makes sense because he is 32 years old that would put him at 34 lads he's got serious stats but i know people in the in the in the comments were were saying yeah i mean bring him in and throw on a pair of boots at him and speed him up a little bit but do i need that kind of attack midfielder with kagawa there like do i need that kind of you know player now price wise i think i can't really say no to him for that i don't really want to negotiate too much with it and play hardball um, because he is one of the, the most revered players and obviously you guys would probably kill me so we are actually going to go ahead and sign Ronaldinho and he's going to be our first signing we could get Vidal Vidal could be a nice one actually he's with Juventus Vidal is actually somebody I might be interested in buying lads you know that let's see if I can get Vidal he would be good um, we have a couple of the guys Mavela down here as well there's no chance Lee Catermol, um, Danilo Leroy Fair, Koch, Luis Gustavo. Well, Gustavo might be a good player to buy, lads. He actually might be a fairly decent DMF, you know. He's a proper DMF. He's an enforcer. He's got... Mm, not bad. Okay, we'll put a bid in for him as well. He's got a kind of a right age for us as well to develop. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I'm actually going to... I'm going to take off my camera for a second because um, I might post this up on, uh, on uh, Twitter. But yeah, it's his dream to play. He's coming. Thanks for coming, everybody. Ronaldinho, lads, what an absolute beast of a player. He's going to be huge for me. Look at this for the skills. Look at this for Ronaldinho, lads. Absolute baller. And imagine if he had gone to United at that time. There was rumours he was going to eventually go, but he's just enjoying embracing the old traffic. Old traffic? The old Trafford faithful. He's wearing the number 13. I wish I had changed that. But we will change that and give him the number 10, hopefully. I think Rooney is number 10. We might switch it to 9. Um, but yeah, Ronaldinho has joined up with the squad, lads. Um, as the secretary tells us there. So we're going to put Ronaldinho straight in there. Obviously, Kagawa is going to get dumped down a little bit. Um, we'll keep Kagawa there. I am going to put in a couple of players for loan um, as well. But yeah, I think that Ronaldinho is obviously going to make a big difference. I think Evra, Vidic and Ferdinand keeping them fit is going to be key. It's, uh, it's, it's just about kind of taking everything now and seeing how much money we have left. 60 million. Um, so these are all unsuccessful. These are all unsuccessful. 
Um, no recipient, recipients for the European Player of the Year. You'd imagine that it's either Messi or Ronaldo that won this. Ronaldo, Xavi and Messi. Um, so yeah, look, transfer negotiations broke down for the four of these boys. I probably left it a bit too late, but to be honest with you, Les, I'm not overly concerned. I just want to belt ahead now and play Everton. So we will see you guys at kickoff finally, and uh, let's get going. All right, let's, we're playing Everton at Goodison Park. As you can see here, it's going to be a tough game for us because we are without uh, Scolzi. Scolzi is fully down on the purple form arrow, so we've had to draft in a late change into the squad. Uh, but the rest of the team is unchanged from the last day, except that Ronaldinho is in, as you can see I'm here. He'll be, he'll be coming there in a second. But yeah, I mean, Ashley Young is in today. We'll see when we get a look at him. Fellaini obviously playing against his, his future team. Um, but Fellaini will never be signed by me in this in this squad, I don't think. There's Ronaldinho, lads. I'm expecting a big game from him today, how he'll link up with Ronaldo or with Rooney and uh, the rest of the boys, Nanny and stuff. So this is the team we are going to be playing, lads, for Everton. It's a fairly decent side. Obviously, Barkley, Cahill, uh, Fellaini, they're the three kind of main guys I need to look at. Phil Neville is still playing as well. And then we've gone for an unchanged team, except that we are going for a two-up top with Hernandez in and Ashley Young in as well. The rest of the team is unchanged. I do like these cutscenes, man, that they kind of the new players are showcased. And I must say that the kits look absolutely beautiful. Everything looks good. We're going to have to have a really good start here, though, because we need wins. We need wins. Draws are no good to us if we are going to be challenging for, for everything this season. We need wins. So let's see, let's see what happens and uh, concentrate a little bit. Still hard to get used to a lot of the gameplay. The challenge. I was thinking he followed through on that one. We'll take it. Who is it? Baines. Ooh, an early yellow card for Baines. That could be dodgy now. I'm going to have to attack him. Didn't think there was much in that. I think he just followed through. Yeah, he just absolutely butchered Ashley Young, lads. Get in, Ferdy. Oh, what a cheeky little chip up from Fellaini, lads. Unbelievable. Ferdinand puts in the foot. The refs is playing on. Proper clash. Proper English clash. Crows are crowing outside. Better keep it down now. They'll be getting a, a rock against their heads. Ooh, what a chance. First early warning signs, lads. Yeah. Ronaldinho. Oh, shakes. Shakes and bakes, baby. Touch and go now. Ronaldinho's in there. Rooney. Rooney. Oh, I needed to score that. What a chance. Ronaldinho. As Ronaldinho's got that little bit of class. Absolute brilliant movement there. Linking up perfectly with Rooney. And that's that's what the fans want to see. Get up, Ronaldinho. Mix it as well. Not known for his head, heading ability. He's covering every blade of grass so far. At the angle, oh, it's again, it's a beautiful ball. Ashley Young. Ronaldinho's loitering. Ronaldinho. Nani! Oh, Buddy's not happy. Buddy's not happy with that. Man, the challenge it is, it's actually right good. It's really fun. I'm actually surprised how, how good it is. The responsiveness is... Oh, I, won't, I won't enjoy it. I was just about to say, what a save. What a save from De Gea. Ferdinand, get it out. <laughs> the kid just diving in her <laughs> Oh, no. What is the gay doing? Man, the gay just diving in her <laughs> Nanny might make it. He does, but he can't control it. Lads, what a game. We've everything. Everything are on top now for the last 10 minutes. I was on top for the first 20. Oh, right into the nutsack. Carrick. We're dogged. Oh. Level, just five minutes time. Oh, lovely interlink. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho to Nani. Nani. Oh, what a goal from Nani outside of the foot. And we'll take the first goal of Nani's season. What a finish. I think Ronaldinho gets the assist. You can see the frame rate issues there, lads, on the celebrations. Rudy. Oh, he didn't shoot, lads. The input delay has come over for me, Football 22. It's following me like a ghost. Like a demon following me around the place. Possessing me. That input delay. Naismith. Naismith. Evra. Oh, I don't want to concede at half time. I don't want to concede at half time. What a save. The game has been unreal, lads, in the first half. He's been incredible. And that'll get us to the half. Come on, De Gea. Man of the match so far, easily. Absolutely top class saves. Beautiful saves. They've had six shots, only two on target. Those two brilliant saves. Pass completion is very, very high for me as well. But he's not a... 
He's not looking comfortable out there. Maybe picked up a niggle, picked up a knock. It's a tough game. It's a bruising game. Bruising encounter against Everton. The Evertonians. Vidic. Oh, I'm not concentrating. Again, the chaos saves my blushes. All right, guys, we have a double substitution. Fletcher and Kagawa coming on for Hernandez and Ashley Young. Ashley Young, obviously, the hero so far. Or one of the heroes so far. Well, Ronaldinho's on it again, though. Ronaldinho! Ooh, what a goal! I didn't think it was in. He's done it. He has done it. Ronaldinho with an absolute cracker to seal the tie. We've made the changes. The Gea has been awesome for us at the back. We've created the gaps up front. We should have had scored that one, I think, that chance. But Ronaldinho got back out, took a pass for Laney, cut the angle and bullet into the bottom corner. We will take it, lads. It's 2-0. We've looked way more comfortable today. What a rasper of a shot. No saving that one. That's it, lads. The ref says that's enough. He's seen enough. We get our first victory, our proper victory. Pez 2013, episode 2 off to a flyer. What a start as well to this series, lads. We drew with Chelsea. That's a huge point now in the last game. I would have given the gay a man of the match, lads. Ronaldinho did end up getting it. All right, lads, so we're into the match. Number three. All right, lads, so we're into fixture three, United versus City. This is going to be an epic battle, I think. Um, we've got a couple of good things and a couple of bad things. Ronaldinho is fully down. He's got a bad form arrow. I don't know why. Um, maybe he had a dodgy curry or something like that I don't know why but we do have Ferdinand fully up we've got Raphael fully up we have got Giggs and Scholes that are in really good form as well they're rested Rooney's in good form we are going back to our 4-5-1 so Nani has gone to the right flank Giggs is on the left Scholes is gone to central with Carrick Holden and DMF and then we've got Ronaldinho as our number 10 or our, our, our AMF in the hole. Um, we'll get a confirmation of that team. City are playing a 4-2-2-2. Let me know if you want to see the game plan or if you're happy enough with just seeing the teams here. Um, because, yeah, the loading, the loading time is, is kind of frustrating in it, so I'm trying to speed that up a little bit. But De Gea, Ferdinand, Vidic, Rafael Evra, Carrick, Nani Giggs, Scholes, Ronaldinho and Rooney. And Vidic is going to be saying, listen, we are not going to concede today. We're going to keep this rock tight at the back on the left and right flanks especially and look at City you've got Hart and goals Lescott and company Zabaleta Clichy Barry Milner Nasri and Balotelli and then Aguero and Santa Cruz up front as a 4-2-2-2 so Ronaldinho this is going to be a big test lads for me it's a great start for us lads same as the last game now brilliant start causing mayhem Nani but I'm not making the right decisions and I probably should have had two really good chances on goal and maybe even one goal already. James Milner in his prime sets on, the, on his run. Vidic is going to have to cover. Vidic, shoulder to shoulder. So we like to see. Use the Gea. Use Raphael. And he's on the right flank today. Rolinho and shepherd it out by company. Rooney. There's the overlap from Raphael. Get in, Nanny. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, Nanny's been held. Raphael, Nanny! Oh, what a goal! What a goal, Raphael. And Nanny scores two from two. Man, he's 90 rated in the game, but my days, what movement. I was being held back by company. Company was professional foul, definitely. And Nanny just kept going. Little cheeky chipping cut back from Raphael. He's on fully, fully good form. What a start, what a start, blister start. You can see here Nanny lads, look, he's been held back, held back, held back, held back, held back. And then he brushes aside, Raphael cuts in through the gap, and Nanny with a cheekiest to finishes in. Get it out! Alone for D. Evra. Rooney's through the middle. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Oh, Ronaldinho looks fully down, lads, his form. Bundle him over. Ref, will you stop, ref, will you? It's a derby. Will you let it go, will you? You're ruining the game for me. Scozzi joins the wall. Here's a ball in. Boo. through the middle. Ronaldinho! Break is on. Ronaldinho! Will you open the legs, Ronaldinho? Oh! Just off target. Vidic get back Tevez is on against his old team Tevez oh this is dangerous 
Well on to Gea. What a save, lads. I needed every every inch of his fingertips there. No! He's off, he's off, he's off, he's off, he's off, he's off. He has to, oh my God, no way. What a bad goal to concede, lads. Shocking goal to concede. Ah, so frustrating. Who played him on? That's Ferdinand played him on. Man, that was tight. God, Aguero, he's haunting me. My nanny. Rooney. Hernandez. Everly. Burba. 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 Oh, what a save. Everly builds again. Hernandez. Burba. Everly. Nanny. Nani, oh, was perfect. Cleverly. Oh, the pass. Oh. And that to an end. Nice. <laughs> what a game. Oh, man, what a game. That is killer. I mean, we would have been second, but that is killer. Arsenal looking like they're flying it at the moment. We do get a bit of money in the gate receipts. El Cuco. But, lads, that is it for another episode. It's been an epic match. That, to end on there we have got the Champions League next against the Benfica so make sure and check out episode 4 for that uh, or episode 3 for that um, but yeah I've uh, I've really enjoyed that lads this Master League is shaping up to be incredible let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it any feedback I will talk to you later I need a break Whew.